Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm just gonna make a simple short video. It's gonna be about something that is well neglected by a lot of people and that's gonna be a short dynamic warm-up process. So I'm just gonna show you my dynamic warm-up and the dynamic warm-up I have written here for all my students and it's just gonna hit most of the muscles because you don't know how your body is going to react when you first step on the court every single day it's a little bit different like even if it's just from sleeping kind of different like a certain muscle might be tight and if you suddenly jump into your tennis and push off without knowing how your muscles are going to feel you could always get injured so to prevent that we're going to do a dynamic warm-up now before you play you don't want to do too much static stretching where you stay in one position and stretch you can do dynamic stretching and a dynamic warm-up. So I'm going to show you mine. Let's go. So for each of these dynamic warm-ups, we're going to start from one double sideline to the other. Now the amount in which you do it is going to depend on the exercise. So first, we're going to start off with a light jog and jogging backwards three times. The next exercise is side shuffle. So each time you go to the other side and back, that equals one set. You're going to do two sets of side shuffling. Third thing is karaoke. The same number of sets as side shuffle. Karaoke is where your feet go forward and behind you. Try to stay light on your feet when you do this. So the next thing is high knees, where you're going to go into a jog, but instead your knees go all the way up to here. The next thing we have is a lunge and twist. So what you're going to do is, whichever foot you lunge with, you're going to lunge and then you're going to twist over your front leg like this. So for these exercises, you're only going to go from one double sideline to the other and then you can start the next exercise. The next thing we have is a high kick. Try to keep your legs straight and generate some force and get your foot as high as you can. Now for this one, you want to be careful. You don't want to overextend yourself. Kick to where you're comfortable, but you feel a slight stretch in your legs. Next one will be what I call a side lunge. I don't know the exact word for this. stretch for your hips or a warm-up for your hips you're gonna go here and then forward so make sure you lift all the way to 90 degrees and then bring it forward when you get halfway you can go up and back the other way We're going to do toe touches and there's going to be two variations which we switch in the middle. The first one is both your legs are going to be straight, you're going to reach up and you're just going to touch your toe and you're going to feel the stretch here. And then the next one after you get halfway is you're going to step and then you're going to go down, put your toe, bring your back leg up. Right now we're going to go into arm swings, we're going to walk across doing this 
and you're gonna walk back doing the same thing. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is a little bit more on your hips because in tennis, the grind on your hips is really big because you have to stop and start so much. So the last thing you're gonna do is line shuffle and sprint. I like to do four shuffles. I'll show you guys how to do them and then just sprint to the other side. You're gonna need two sets of these. All right, so there you have it. That's a full dynamic warm up, and it's very important to like actually focus when you're doing these and activate your muscles. Um, if you're going to be playing tennis all the time or every day, you know it's only a matter of time, right? If that you get hurt if you're not careful. So doing this is like a 10 minute, you know, five 10 minute investment into your body, and sometimes you can feel lazy about doing it. I certainly am, but. There are countless times where I've tweaked something or I've pulled a muscle like in the beginning of a practice where I, I know it's because I neglected to warm up at all. So guys, um, yeah, don't treat this lightly, especially if you want a, you know, you want to be able to keep playing tennis every single day and do what you love. Even if you're not playing competitively, uh, it's still really important to upkeep your body because it would suck to get hurt, pull a muscle for no reason, and then not be able to play for three or four days or for a week, right? So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that simple dynamic warm-up set. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.